There's another big change happening tomorrow you may not know about. Phase two of the federally mandated phase out of incandescent light bulbs. KEZI 9 News anchor Sean Cuellar takes a look at the options for lighting your home. Gone are the type A light bulbs we've grown up with for years. Store supplies are running low, and in 2014, these light bulbs will be banned. 2013 kicks off phase two of a federal energy efficiency program. The phase out requires that all bulbs manufactured and sold in the U.S. use 25 to 30 percent less energy than standard incandescent bulbs. While some are still available, the supplies are dwindling, leaving just three energy-saving options to brighten your home. 75 watts, and you're going to get about 18 years out of one of those. It may look like a lot to choose from, but Jesse Elizondo, a specialty manager at Home Depot, breaks it down. There are three options here halogens, LEDs, and compact fluorescent lights. CFLs are, are fairly popular. They're middle of the road, highly energy efficient, cost effective. Um, I, I think that over time you're going to see LEDs really start to take uh, a bigger piece of that. That's because LEDs cost more to purchase, but they can save more money down the road. On the back of the packaging, you'll find an energy breakdown. Let's compare a 60 watt compatible bulb. The CFL will cost $3, the halogen closer to 4 and a compatible LED light, you're talking $22. But look at the savings. The halogen will cost $7 a year to operate, and it will need to be replaced within three years. The CFL, the estimated annual energy cost, $1.69, and it will last about 18.2 years. Finally, the LED, the estimated yearly cost to operate, $1.57 and it will last you 23 years. There's no special requirements for disposal with LEDs and halogens, but something to consider. CFLs do require special disposal. That's because they contain mercury. Here at Home Depot, you can bring them in for free for recycling if you are a residential customer. And Eugene, Sean Cuellar, KEZI 9 News.